Doodle Bud, I had to do an emergency video. It's another uh, Ask the Bud. I had a question from us from Santa. Santa Ozia. Oh, Is that correct? Santa Ozia? <laughs> Let me know. I tried. Anyways, they left the comment. If you catch me at the right time, uh, and I got whatever, the right, it's just on an opportunity to do a video, I can do one, but it's not all the time. But they were asking to do a comparison. I, I don't even have the exact pens they want me to compare. I'll try my best. They're going to make a purchase, and there's nothing worse than buying a, a pen and then being disappointed. So let's see what we can do. They're debating the Twisby VAC 700. And then, I, I know this isn't it, but a Twisby uh, Diamond 580. This is the Eco. And the biggest concern they had was how to clean it. Well, they're easy to use. I think they're both easy to use. I, any pen, you just take the cap off and write. So that's they're equal. But cleaning, it's the classic vac filler versus piston fillers. And so let's see if we can help out Santa with uh, cleaning pens. Because as I always say, cleanliness is next to penliness. That's a Doodle Bud original. Okay, so... Here's the thing, Santa, I hope I just cleaned this pen. It's it's still foggy. It was just like yesterday. But I'm gonna fill this up just for you. I'm gonna fill this up with this terrible ink. Uh it's a cool color, but man, this thing just stains. See, you just touch it and you get ink on you. It's on the paper and everything too. Anyways. Um Oh, it's a crusty. Holy mother. Oh, <laughs> I'm not over, I'm not acting here, folks. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, oh, boy. So this is the thing. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, so this is the thing when you get really sheeny inks. All right. And you've had them around for a while. Holy mother. Um, that red sheen, it stains the hell out of your pens. And look at that crust on the ink bottles. Okay, so California teal. It's a cool color. Beautiful sheen. It's got ITF technology in it. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. Like, is that what you want when you fill it? Anyways, okay. Let's fill this pen up. So, pump and dump. Whoa. Is it not deep enough? Oh, oh, I've heard that before. Is it in? There we go. Second time. Just to warm it up. So now we're filled. I didn't, I'm not doing the full maxi fill. Look at the goo in there. So you can see the sheen through the camera. <laughs> so lots of beautiful sheen. And the crusty turning of the bottle. And then look at this. What? Oh, got ink everywhere now, but look at that. Just crust. Okay, give me a second. I got to wipe here. Hold on. Okay, I wiped. I had to move this guy out of the way. Didn't want him to get all stained up. Man. So, uh, you know, you got your pens. They're filled up. You can write them, and now it's time to clean them. Oh, is that just a fill a pen? Jeez, and crackers. Uh, so let's dump this ink out. I am going to save. This is the river of fire. I will save that. That's in there. This, I'll just pitch it down the sink. So let me just squeeze the ink out of these and we'll come right back and we'll see how we're looking just from a baseline cleaning. Oh, okay. That was a messy one. Uh, did the best I could here. We're going to start with this, but still like it doesn't even come off that California teal. Is that what the Hulk's hand looks like after he, uh, <laughs> you know, anyhow, back filler so uh you know put it in the water you, you go back and forth a few times but you still get that blowback in there so the cool thing with the 700 is you can unscrew this now if you can't do that on a vacuum filler first of all the the 580 and the 700 they're they're clear demonstrators it can't get any harder to clean than that but what you can do okay so you can get them both about to the same level yes i know on the 580 you can unscrew that as well. But this is where I brought out this guy. So on, on this guy, the Pelican, okay, you can unscrew the whole nib unit 
and then it's just a straight shot down the barrel, right? So you can throw the piston down there and, and just run water in here and water in there. And all you really have to do after that is, is pull ink in once and shoot it out and she's clean. So that's if a regular piston filler, if we're comparing that, is easier to clean than a vacuum. Okay, but we're not doing that. The, the 580 is a little different because it's got, uh, if, if you could crack this off here, there'd still be like this little nipple section. And that's to fit in that cool bottle. I mean, that's a plus for getting the 580 over the 700. There's that cool filler bottle thing. Um, but you can't get full access to the barrel without taking the pen apart. So again, maybe leave in the comments, because I, I don't own a 580. How easy is it to clean that out? Again, if, if you're okay with having a little residue in it, this is easier, okay? But you do have full access into the barrel with the 700. So then you could just take a Kleenex, get it all in there, it's a little easier clean. You still get some of that blowback. So I would say to get these pens fully clean, like if you really want them sparkly clean, then it's time to whip out the wrench. Same thing, get in there with your Kleenex. Dabby dab, dabby dab. So there we go, they're cleaned out and greased up, ready for the next one. Which was easier to clean? I don't know, man. So I guess just on a basic clean, again, this is the Eco, not the 580, but the fact you can take the section off the 580 and just run the piston up and down a few times and you're not getting all the blowback behind the seals, I would give it to the 580. Uh, however, if you want to do a deep clean, okay, so again, this is the demonstrator. Every little thing you miss shows up. I would give it to the, uh, to the vac. So one, you, you, you can get in there and still get it pretty good, but just on the disassembly, this is an easier mechanism. Uh, it's, it's not left hand threads, which is nice. You don't have to deal with that and potentially strip things. You forget it's left hand, right hand threads, whatever. So that's, uh, you know, you can maybe mess up there, try to force something. But also, too, it's just, this comes out, it's all one unit. Yes, the seal. When you pull the whole thing out, uh, it's going to pop off. But it's, you know, get a buddy, and he'll help you get it out, and it, it goes on pretty simple. So I think it's easier to do a deep clean on the 700 versus the 580, just because it is a little more finicky, if you got to put the, the piston mechanism back together, you got to make sure you do that right or you're not turned the wrong way. And then if you pull the piston up all the way, maybe you still have a gap if you did it wrong. So there's a little more that can go wrong with taking this part apart versus on the vac. Whew. So there we go. Um, who are we talking? It's Santa. I think I made it on the nice list this year, so I deserve a nice little present. So anyway, hope that helps. No topic too big, no topic too small. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I was, uh, previous to this, I was fiddling in my ideas book here and just lots of stuff. I was putting ideas out together for future videos. So thanks again. The giveaways tomorrow uh, for the little Muji pen with my custom grind. Congratulations to whoever will win it. There's some leaders there right now. Uh, do whatever you can. Get a friend or whoever to give you some thumbs ups. And let's see who can walk home with that one. Anyways, thanks again. We'll catch you next time.